Hey everyone, this is Cheyenne with Camera Shy TV, and I'm here for you this week with another video vlog. That's right. So my vlog this week is going to be again about the very fabulous and infamous Duggar family. Now, they've been in the news a lot lately. First, it was for their beautiful daughter, Jessa, starting her courtship with Ben, where they are now in the news again this week for another courtship, but is actually being fast-tracked to engagement. That's right, Jill Duggar is officially engaged. Woo! You go, girl. So, so excited for you. Um, and this relationship has actually caused me to want to do this opinion vlog because of how her relationship started. So, as most of you probably know are those who are you just discovering the Duggars. Um, they are a very traditional family. Um, they have 19 children and they are very faith-based, biblical-based family who tend to be on more of the conservative side. So just to have their daughters courting is a really big deal. Um, but with Jill's courtship, it was even more unique and very surprising to me knowing their family how it started. Um, Jill's relationship actually started online. Now, before you guys jump to conclusions and are like, what, this, this, these parents don't even let their daughters hold hands with their boyfriends, let alone now they're letting their daughter go ahead and, you know, date someone she's never met online. Okay, put on the brakes. Now, hers is a little different where, yes, yeah, she started dating her now soon to be husband, um, Derek online, it was a little more than just boy meets girl, it wasn't quite there, but it was definitely a little bit of matchmaking. So what I have found out is that uh, Jim Bob, which is Jill's dad, Mr. Duggar, actually got to know Derek through um, the internet himself. Uh, Derek, I guess, actually asked um, Jim Bob, you know, wrote to him and they kind of became a um, spiritual mentor type relationship. And from Jim Bob getting to know Derek, thought, Hmm, well, I know my daughter Jill's personality so well, I wonder if she'll hit it off of Derek. So a little bit of matchmaking came together, and there you go. The rest is history. So Derek and Jill did hit it off, and uh, now, you know, a couple months down the road, now they're officially engaged. So this caused me to want to do, um, to talk a little bit about online dating and what I thought about it. So... Let's go in my little time machine and go back about six months ago where you had met a girl that was like, online dating is so crazy, it's bogus, you know, I don't know how people expect to get to know each other over the internet. Uh, well, my opinion has changed a little bit because I'm engaged. I'm just kidding. No, just kidding. You guys would know here first for sure. Um, no, uh, my opinion has changed a little bit because I actually, on my birthday this year in January with one of my aunts who will remain nameless for her sake, um, uh, went online and actually signed me up for, uh, my own first online dating profile. I guess that's what happens when you turn 26 and you're still single. Um, but I, you know, was kind of opposed to it at first but then after talking with some of my friends who have actually met their you know husbands through um, you know through websites I decided to do it and I thought you know well what's the harm in just at least getting to know someone and that's where I think my opinion of online dating goes um, I don't think you know you're necessarily gonna meet someone and, and, and talk with someone online and think you know absolutely everything about them and think you know wedding bells are coming like let's do it um, I think the best way to handle online dating is um, to make sure you know where your heart is. You know, if you're going into it for a hookup, that's exactly what you're going to get is a hookup. Um, but if you're going into it with an open heart and you are looking and feeling ready for a serious relationship and marriage, you know, I think that you'll find someone who is hopefully um, in there for the right reasons as well. You know, um, I just I think it'd be a great idea if you guys wanted to embark in online dating as well. It's best to just get to know the person um, through the email or the IM correspondence first, you know, and then if you feel led, then you can take the next step in, you know, doing uh, video conferencing, whether it be Skype or FaceTime or texting. Um, and then ultimately after that, you can always make the big step of meeting someone in person. You know, I'm still a very traditional girl. I'm still very hopeless romantic. You know, I believe that I'm going to meet my husband in person someday. You know, God's going to, you know, make it all happen. Um, you know, I would love to have my dad, dad, I hope you're listening, um, to, you know, play matchmaker. And, um, I've always said I want to marry a dad like my daddy. So who better to find someone like him than him? So no pressure, dad. Um, but no, I, you know, so I don't think I'm going to meet my husband on online dating. Now, just by saying this, I know God's listening. He's probably going to 
show me opposite, but um, up for the challenge. Um, but I really think, you know, I'm definitely more into the boy meets girl, you know, boy courts girl, boy, you know, d just falls in love with girl and they get married. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how that all works out. I'm glad that it's working out for Jill Duggar. I think that that's exciting and it's great. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments about online dating in general, what you think about it. Is it, you know, is it something that you would do? Is it something that you believe is possible to find a long lasting relationship online? So it worked out for Jill Duggar. I am so happy for her and excited to see on their TLC series, you know, how it's going to end up. So, um, uh, we will see in the future, possibly if there are more Duggar girls who will begin the relationships in the same way. So as for me, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. And until next time on Camera Shy TV, I bid you adieu and much love to you all. Mwah!